Hey fam, I was planning on doing a video today, which is February 13th, 2020, um, on this missing child, Bay Sweat Link, and, um, she was a, the missing six-year-old, uh, she went missing Monday, this week, and, um, according to her mom, you know, she was outside in the front yard playing, and, um, she went missing from playing in the front yard and I found out today that they found her body and it really just saddens me so it really saddens me so Fox News alert now we're just learning the case of that missing little girl in South Carolina it has come to a tragic end officials making the announcement just seconds ago heavy hearts that we are announcing that we have found the body that the coroner has, has identified as Faye Marine Sweat. We are now treating this case as a homicide. As this community has been working hard to find Faye and bring her home safely, we wanted you to know as soon as possible. At this time, no arrests have been made. You need to know that this is a fluid investigation and that we are working diligently on it. We also need to inform you that during the course of our investigation, a deceased male was located in the Churchill Heights neighborhood. That investigation has just begun. At this time, we feel there is no danger to the community. We will continue to provide more information as it becomes available. We will not be taking questions. Thank you. And terrible, terrible news out of South Carolina. We were hoping... Yeah, this was at a um, KC South Carolina family. Um, this right here really saddens me. Um, like I said, I was planning on doing a um, reading on this child. And um, unfortunately, um, I really don't know what I could have said that could have changed anything. Um, and if you know, I do I like to do readings on, on a lot of things as well as the missing children. That's one of my passions, trying to bring our missing children home. But anyway, um, this child's body was found, according to the authorities today, as well as a deceased male, okay? Um, I'm sure it wasn't too far from this child. I'm going to make this video long. I mean, if you know, um, I go by what I say in the spirit. Even though what I say is not facts, it's allegedly. I do rely on the spirit. And, um... I jot down notes of things that I pick up in the spirit, as well as I use tarot cards as a backup. Today, I won't be using any tarot cards as a backup, but I will, um, you know, let many of you know what I have come up with as far as, as the tarot cards that I did use, what popped up, okay? Um, so, let me just get to that real quick. Now, yesterday, I had came up with um, one main card out of the reading and that card said deception and envy okay and that lets you know that things are not always what they seem and it's more to the story okay it's more to the story i do not sense that her mom has anything to do with it um i don't sense that her stepdad has, has anything to do with it i don't even sense that her father has anything to do with it uh, i believe her father has a girlfriend maybe maybe a living girlfriend or he's married but these are the cards, cards that have popped up yes, I mean, well, not yesterday, but today. Because I did a reading today. These are the cards that have popped up today, okay? And remember, everything I say is allegedly now. But these are the cards that the Spirit had revealed to me today. Um, stepmom, stepmother had popped up. Stepmother has popped up. As well as paid someone off. Paid someone off for murder, okay? Um, sex, assault sexually. So, according to the cards, this child was sexually assaulted. Um, friend of the family. That means friend is somebody that's friend of the family uh, that knows more than what they're saying. Okay. I apologize for the background noise. It's a friend of the family that knows more. Okay. And also, um, these are my notes over here, family. Okay. I'm just reading them. And also what popped up is um, someone um, 
someone hid it in a storage, okay? I, I, I sent that this child was found not too far from the neighborhood. Let me just say that. I do sense that she was not found too far from the neighborhood. Um, I probably said maybe about maybe seven minutes away or less, okay? But she was definitely somewhere close by in the area. This is what I sense. Another car popped up that said West and one said Bank. Well, I'm sorry, let me get it right. One car popped up, popped up that said West and the other one said River. So something told me on the inside, put the, put, put the two together. So West River had popped up, okay? And I also, you know, Google it as well. And, and lo and behold, there is a West River, okay, over there in that area. There is one. I believe it's about seven, seven minutes away. So do I feel like this has something to do with it? Yes, indeed, I do, because I rely on the spirit. And another car popped up and said Tuesday, okay? And there's something else that popped up. I got my hands on it, and I don't really want to go there because I feel like it's like a uh, rabbit hole, and I don't want no parts of, the rabbit, of a rabbit hole. I feel like the cops know more than what they're saying. They're keeping a lot of information to themselves. Um, but along with this stepmother, let me just say that, and, and I'm not accusing her of anything. That's a car that popped up. Along with this car, I'm sensing with it, the one that says stepmother is that um, if the spirit trying to tell me she may know more than what she's saying, and if so, it's somebody that she's in cahoots with, okay, as far as getting rid of this child for whatever reason. Um, I don't think her popped up, popped up to say a partnership alliance, okay, that's, that's hooking up with somebody, and it's pretty much what you can do for me, you know, um, you're pretty much coming together for a common uh go for whatever reason you know it could be a, maybe a lover type thing and, and, and you know you're doing that person a favor you know um so anyway another another car popped up saying waiting game and another car popped up saying hello family sorry about that another car popped up that said um emotional loss and I know when I saw that, I, I just knew she was deceased. Because early this week, I felt that she was still alive early this week. But but when I saw emotional law, I just knew she was deceased. And also deception and envy popped up. Deception and envy, okay? That's pretty much things are not always what they, you know, appear to be. And the child, you know, uh, she, she was taken from Church Hill Heights neighborhood, okay? In Casey, South Carolina. This is where she was taking family. Um, I'm pretty much trying to put the pieces together. I don't know everything family. I'm trying to put the pieces together. But I'm hoping that someone who would watch my video may know somebody that knows somebody. And can get an idea of putting the pieces together. Because I feel like it's something, it's something to it as far as the young man that they found that's, that's deceased also in that same area. In that same area that they found um Faye, okay, the six year old that was missing that is now, you know, um that's deceased now. I feel like he knew he has something to do with it also, but he knew about th this case, about her being missing and he was taken out for whatever reason. Um obviously he knows the perpetrator, okay? Um I just you know, my main thing is I wanted this child found, but I wanted her found safely. You know, because I'm a mom as well. I wanted her found safely. That was really, you know, um, you know, my passion as far as me planning on, you know, doing this video. But unfortunately, she was found, but she was deceased family. So um, just alone, me seeing the card um, that had popped up that said, um, pay someone off for murder. You know, just alone, me seeing that popped up right there, pay someone off. And I saw murder. That let me know right there that she was deceased. You know, even though I wanted to believe that she was still alive. And, I, and then I saw right here e emotional loss. You know. Um, but anyway, I don't. Like I said, the cops know more family. They know more. But I do sense, you know, um, the location from where she was was taken from Church Hill Heights neighborhood. I sense that she was taken somewhere west. West real it's either it's either she was taken somewhere west of of the of from this area or she was taken somewhere near West River. Okay. 
and many of you can google just yourself but but i also sense it's like seven minutes away or less but i truly believe her body was not found that far from where she lived it was not found that far um authority authorities know more but it's just not saying but uh, I just want to keep her family, her mom, her dad, you know, in our prayers because um, I wish this on nobody. M my passion is really for this child to be found. And she, uh, unfortunately, she was, but she's deceased, you know. So let's keep her family in our prayers. But I truly feel that her mom had nothing to do with it, as well as her stepdad. Um, you know, according to the spirit, the cards that popped up, unfortunately, um... And I'm not saying she had anything to do with it, but the card that popped up was stepmother, okay? Stepmother. And um, I don't know what other information is going to come out of this, but I also um, sexual assault popped up, you know, for another family. So, um, you know, um, nearby the neighborhood. So, like I said, she wasn't, she wasn't found that far from her home. Um, but anyway, I'm through talking. I'm, I'm really shaken up and upset because I really want her to be found alive. But um, that's all I have to say, family. Let's keep this child, Faye, sweatly in our prayers. And uh, I should believe she's in a better place. You know, it just said that she couldn't really be loved and appreciated and protected, um, unfortunately. I, you know, for her to be in the, in the front yard playing, I truly believe she left. I mean, she left with somebody that she knew. Okay, because if someone wanted to snatch her in front of the home, she would have been really screaming. You know, and her mom would have heard her screams. But um, the third didn't mention anything about her mom hearing any screams. I guess, you know, she stepped out and knows her daughter um, was taken. You know, she was nowhere around. But I truly feel like this child was taken by somebody that she knew. So that's all I have to say, family. Um, if anybody know more, you know, feel free to leave um, a comment. But let's keep our comments respectful, okay? Because we never know who's going to be viewing this video. And um, I just want to give much respect to her family. And um, my condolence as well to um, Faye, mother and father. But um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, you know, saying saying that the stepmom is involved. But like I said, I'm just relying on what the cards reveal, okay? I'm relying on what the cards reveal. And for the most part... The spirit uh, doesn't lie, okay? If she didn't do it, she knows something. That's all I'm saying. Um, like I said, um, and then I don't know what this means. This, say part, this says Tuesday. I don't know if she was taking it and moved on a Tuesday to another location. Uh, Partnership Alliance popped up. That's two people in cahoots. You know, the waiting game. Um, conflict, defeat, you know, um, emotional loss, deception, and envy. It speaks for itself, family. It speaks for itself. So that's all I want to say. My condolence to the family. Peace, family. Peace.